Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is my friend Walter Keller, Safety Harbor Firearms. We're on the Hacienda. We're, we're doing some shooting. Um, the company that we're looking at today, the gun that we're looking at is the G3 from Taurus. And one of the things I want to say, so look, I think you know this better than me, Walt, right? Um, people have like set opinions about Taurus, I find when I do stuff. They either it's love them or hate them. Yeah, <laughs> this or that. So, um, in the last, I want to say like the last year or so, maybe two years, Taurus has like gone through some changes. And now they're actually making stuff in Georgia. Yeah, I saw that on there. Here in America. Well. And they've kind of, they're kind of redoing it. They have like new management over there. They're doing things in a different way. We first really came across the new Taurus in that video where we were shooting all the 22s. Yeah. Remember that? We had a bunch of different 22s. We're going through these guns. I think like the new Glock 22 and all kinds of things that we have, Walther, everything. And we came across the Taurus uh, TX-22. And that thing ran good. It was good. We, 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 don't, we, didn't, we didn't own it, nothing like that. I don't know whose gun that was. I don't remember. Yeah, but it was fantastic. So we were like, wow, this is great. And we're gonna do, there's a new version of the TX-22, I think it's the competition. We'll do that in the future. But today we're gonna take a look at the G3. And that's what I have here in front of me. I still have the tags on it. We haven't put any rounds through it. This is going to be our first round through the gun. Uh, a couple of different things here. It's a striker fired, right? Um, you know, it's... I guess everyone's going to say all these things are chasing after Glock or whatever. So it looks like it has a similar takedown. i got to run through that and see. This is full size, right? 17 round magazines, as you guys can see. We've got uh, some Fort Scott munitions in there. I think it goes, that's a 15, and then this one is a 17. Um, so we're gonna take a look at this and see what we think about it. It looks like it's using Glock sights, actually. Could be mistaken here. Um, we'll run that in. We're gonna give our first impressions. It's got a plate. Everything has a red dot plate now. Almost, yep. Everybody and their mama running a red dot plate. Yeah. We are not gonna try that out right now. We'll do that later. Right now, we just wanna go through it and shoot it, the G3 9x19 from Taurus. What do you, what's your first impressions here of just looking at it? Let me see, uh, I'm gonna try to... Uh, fit and finish, it seems. Oh, it's I, double I like, action, it looks like. I like the fit and finish. Yeah, it's double action, right? It's oh, reset wow, yeah, yeah, double action only. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, that's, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm not sure exactly how the takedown is going on this, oh, but we'll see. It looks take like probably the same as a yeah. It looks like clock. yeah. It looks like it is, but we'll run through all of that later on. Here, what do you think? Take a look. And by the way, Walter, there's a whole bunch of different versions of these, different colors, um, different finishes, um, different magazines. I guess you can get the ten round ones for where you are, and they're all around three hundred bucks yeah. or less. I mean. It's pretty, like I know. said, fit and finish. You know, somebody that makes things. Feels good. Yeah. It's finished nice. There's not sharp edges on the corners and stuff, yeah. which is one of my pet peeves. Mm -hmm. um, the injection molding is there's not crazy uh, lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like it's uh, well made. Yeah. Um, so we got this in on T and E. We're gonna put it through its paces. So you know, when people do that kind of stuff, they don't give us any stipulations. We could do whatever we want to say. We got the tag on there. What does the tag say? It says, read <laughs> manual before use. Really? What kind of... Eh. Really? Yeah, I don't understand what that Look means. Look at that. They make it I mean, really... Can't... Oh, there you go. Yeah, it makes it difficult to take off. It's Hank proof. Yeah. So we, we didn't see that. Uh, manual? Manual. I didn't meet him today. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Manual's not in the building. <laughs> All right, let's put some rounds through this. Let's get our Air Pro on here. Right. Well, I had my and my open. allergies are killing me, so forgive me if you're looking at this and I'm sniveling. You know, you're sniveling. Well, see, that Hank Strange is just sniveling. <laughs> <laughs> Snivelocopus. Right, okay, forgive first. me. Allergy season. 
You want to go first? I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. I'll take the 15 rounder. Okay. I think it's full. Is and this full? is Fort Scott Munitions. This is their tumble on impact uh, copper spun from Fort Scott Munitions, 115 grain. That's what we're shooting. Um, if I can steal some nine mil some uh, steel case and walls, we'll try that too. Here it goes. I'm feeling the reset. I usually don't do very, very quick. Yeah. Last shot holds will work. Yeah. Got bag drop free. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how that is. This is the 17 round magazine. I'll. Uh, It's uh, it's accurate. Works great. I mean, you know, listen. I think if you mess this up nowadays, Walt, there's definitely something uh, wrong with you. But I've got no complaints with the first. Uh, no. What have we What have we done? Like 30 rounds, maybe through yeah, it. That was fun. What are you hitting? Some steel. Okay, you're gonna do steel case there. Sure. All right. So stay right there. We're gonna load this up with steel case and uh, come back and share that with you guys. What is this? The Monarch 9mm Luger from Baranuls. You know Baranuls? No? You don't know anything about that? About, about what? Baranuls. Baranuls? Baranuls. Bano? <laughs> yeah, Bar yeah. I don't know this uh, pronunciation you use, but. Oh uh, boy. Bano? Baranuls? Yeah. Baranuls? This is, uh, I think, somewhere I have video of Walter cracking open a. A can, a spam can. Of Monarch 9mm yeah. Luger. Yes, we did that Yes, earlier in the day today. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Man, we're just like popping 9mm like some ballers. I haven't done this in months. Yeah. So, you know, I mean. So while you jabber and load, I'm yeah. gonna shoot. So, here we go. All straight up steel. All right, loaded just fine. No complaints here. You know, it's the grip is kind of squarish. I will say. I mean, some yeah, you people feel you got pretty. Both of us have pretty. Yeah, big I got big, hands big clubs. Yeah. Yeah, yours are kind of so like Flintstone-ish. It doesn't bother me, but maybe someone with small hands would have an issue with it. Yeah. I don't. It doesn't bother me at all. No. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go wrap it on this right here. Let's see how it is. Bad, you do the that triggers. every time. Huh? You do that every time. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Lola showered with uh, hot cases. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, guess what? I'm gonna, let's mix it up. Let's mix it up. Let's uh, put some. Oh, you're really burning ammo. Yeah. I'm, oh. I, it, it's, I, I'm, I'm liking it. So we're probably now at about 60 rounds, right? I'm 60? gonna do one steel, one stone. Yeah, one let's mix steel, it. One yeah. Let's mix it and see what happens just to see if we can make it fail, right? Or do I something crazy on it. I wouldn't it. think so. Huh? I wouldn't think so, but yeah. I, technically, actually, you already shot some mixed, and I didn't tell you. Oh, you, I did? One of those yes. other mags had a few rounds of, not, oh, okay. not one after another, but there was like five of one and then five of the other. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. You did say at the beginning. You said it. That's just the way I loaded it, so. Oh, okay. All right. Sneaky. Mm. That's pretty sneaky, Walter. Mm. So what are your thoughts right now while we're loading up here? Any thoughts? Uh, I don't have any problem with it. I, I, you know. I think nowadays with the technology that exists out there in polymers and that you can use for developing guns and stuff like that, um, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do these better. Obviously, these guys have done, from what I see here, a decent job of it. You know, it's really just putting it through its paces and see what do you... You know, you're getting really good value for that 300 bucks, but that's that's a pretty, 
you know, for, for a nice full size gun. Nice yeah. fit and finish, yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, um, you ready? Sure. Go for it. Boom. Well, she's a bit warm, I think. Let's see here. Let's try it again. Boom. So 15 rounds, that went through there relatively easy. Um, so the first time I loaded up this magazine and that happens, I wasn't able to get, I think I got 16, but the last two I've gotten the 17 out of that, so that's pretty good. Um, let's, uh, let's give this a try here and see how we do. Um, so I, I noticed I could stage that trigger back. got consistent ejection yeah even depending no, no it is what. it is getting hot here now so we're probably closer to 100 rounds at this point right something like that um and it's getting hot and stuff but i don't see like any you know yeah it feels hot right there in the slide but it's it's good it's running good i don't really have any complaints about it right now so what i would say is that um we need, we need to come back here at some point try some more shoot yeah put a red dot put on a there side on it, yeah you know, um, I run it through its paces. I want to find out if these are like, what kind of magazines these are. They're, what do you mean? Um, like if you can easily get these. Oh, okay. You know, if they're specialized, if they're specific to this. They look like something that Metgar makes. They are Metgar, so it says it right there. Oh, <laughs> look at that. So that's pretty cool, yeah. So probably easy to get the magazines. I, I like Metgar stuff, so that's, that's always a positive. I think to get the Red Dot capable, um, two magazines and a full-size pistol like that for 300 bucks. That's pretty good. So we'll put it through its paces and yeah. we'll come back and talk to you guys about it. Tell the folks out there how they can find out more stuff. Walter comes on and shoots stuff here that has nothing to do with safety yeah, harbor today firearms. we didn't shoot anything. Oh, anyway, we, so yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> we didn't do any safety harbor stuff. No, but, we didn't. We played with other people's stuff. Um, safety harbor firearms on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, that's the main place you can get a hold of safetyarrowfirearms.com, mm -hmm. another way too. So. Absolutely. Now, Walter does show up on the podcast along with Babyface P and a bunch of other people yeah. in the industry. We have lots of friends out there and uh, folks in the industry themselves, uh, other content creators that come on and hang out with us. And we have conversations for two hours on the Who Move My Freedom podcast, which is on the Who Move My Freedom channel. We do it 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern, and that's Monday to Friday, typically. Unless yep. I take time off to do Normally. all this stuff. Yeah. Yes. And we talk about everything. Everything. No holds barred. We're not politically correct at all. <laughs> not at what all. What is that? <laughs> what is politically correct? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right, Walt. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Appreciate you hanging out with us as well as Lola um, there. We will continue here with this Taurus and have some more Taurus stuff for you guys. Let us know if you have any particular questions or things you want us to do. I know someone's going to want to see us shoot it on paper. That's why I was like specifically going for the for the hostage target out there to see if I can you know get in a consistent uh, thing. But we'll do all that. Just let us know what you want us to do, and we'll get to it. Yep. Peace. See ya. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. <laughs>